too good a game. Rajiv has got to learn. You don't put it three-quarter court to Taufik Hidiat, who's got the whole court to aim at and expect to win. It's just perfect timing there. 16-15, Hidiat leads at the moment. It's just long. Taufik was in two minds there. He didn't know that it was actually gone until he got to the line. Yeah, but it was very good judgment in the end. Excellent. He's trying too hard now, 18-15. Yeah, and that's just a lack of experience, to be honest, at this sort of level. Again, he tries an almost impossible shot. Very, very low percentage of success with that one. It's 19-15 from 15 all. It's all happening on the next door court as well because Bullendonks from Netherlands has leveled things at 18 all there. So just wait out for that one. Oh, good shot. Super work from Rajiv. 16-19. You don't know quite where to look in this stadium at the moment. I know that I should be and will be concentrating on the match on screen, but it's all happening. Denmark and Korea in the Thomas Cup. In the Uber, it's China, Netherlands. And right in front of us, it's Indonesia, England! Game point, Taufik Hidiat. Taufik showboating there. He didn't need to play that dummy. That was just for the crowd, I think. He's got a three-point cushion at the moment. He had a four-point, but that was just arrogance. But if he gets away with it, everybody loves it. He misses it. He puts a bit of pressure on. Oh, what a pickup. Rajiv doing his bit as well. What a great rally. It's in. It's game. It's 21-17. Wow. This is extraordinary. How many times do I have to say it? I'm absolutely blown away by the atmosphere in this hall. 21-17. Listen to this. and ours are coming from adjacent court. Oh, what a miss! <laughs> it's all squared at 20s in the Netherlands versus China Uber right next door. That's what all the fuss is about. Just caught there a glimpse of Lu Lan in the background as we get Taufik coming out to take his place for the second game. Just in case you're wondering, China have match point. Well, Rajiv Youssef played a full part and a very, very impressive part in that game, that last game. 21-17 was the score. 
to Taufik Hidiat, and it was a fabulous game to watch. Even Taufik is distracted. He wants to wait until this particular point is over, but he has to get on with it. I think he was distracted and didn't want to play the point. China have won it. They level the match at one all. The Indonesian crowd are disappointed. Let's now concentrate on the Indonesia-England match right in front of screen. Good piece of play there from Rajiv. He's putting up a good show, Jill, isn't he? Yes, he is. And, and, you know, just as Andrew Smith did in the opening match of this tie, he, you know, he's got nothing to lose, everything to gain. But more importantly, you know, I keep coming back to the point, but it, it's all about, to me, the pressure that the Indonesians are under. You know, they... As, as far as the Indonesian team are concerned, it's inconceivable that they could lose to England. You know, this young England side, inexperienced in England side. And therefore, you know, it's an unforgiving crowd here in Jakarta. If they struggle a little bit, the crowd get on the Indonesian players' backs. And, you know, it's a tough, tough situation. You're mentioning a young England team. Of course, there are a couple of star players who aren't out here. Robertson hasn't come out, Mr Blair hasn't come out, and you've been trying to find out why not, I think. Well, certainly Nathan Robertson has had a, a, a minor ankle injury. Uh, Anthony Clark has not come because apparently he wants to concentrate on his preparation for the Olympic Games. Uh, and I'm still a little unsure as to why Robert Blair isn't here. But the, the, the point is, is that every other top player in world badminton, if they're not ill or injured, are here at the Thomas Cup and Uber Cup finals. This is the premier BWF event this year, 2008. Of course, we've got the Olympic Games, but this is vital to, to most nations. And, and, you know, I, I don't wish to criticize because of course you've got to give younger players experience but I, I'm a little bit disappointed that some of our top players aren't here together with some of the less in, uh, experienced players from England comment there from Gillian Clark about the the England uh, set up here but I must say Rajiv Usef who's been asked to take the second spot for the singles is putting on a brave, brave show. 21-17, he lost the first, but at four all in the second, he's certainly not overawed. He's going to find it tough if he keeps putting up those three-quarter clears. He must surely have realised that Taufik eats these for breakfast. Yes, and it's one of the trademarks of the Indonesian, the, the way he's able to find the lines with his smashes. Wonderful angles. It's not just the power with Hidiat. Uh, hesitation there. I think he was going to leave that, thought he was going to go wide, changed his mind, decided to play it. By the time he made that decision, it was too late, really. He's won the first which is, it can be unusual for Taufi. He often loses the first and then decides to get into gear, but uh, that down the line from the, really over the head from Rajiv, fails. Good work from Rajiv. Excellent work. Straight into the body. Yeah, and that's clever too. Aware of where, how his opponent was defending. And just like Andrew Smith in the opening game, you see the Indonesian.